Good afternoon everyone. My name is Sophie and I'm a harpist on the Live Music Now scheme here in Scotland. It's a tough time at the moment and we're so sorry that we're not able to bring live music to you directly, but it is brilliant that we can use the internet as a different way to do concerts as part of the Together at Home online series. I'm currently in my studio in a very rainy west end of Glasgow, so thank you for joining me wherever you are in the world for today's harp concert. I'm going to begin with a piece by possibly one of the most famous composers out there. It is J.S. Bach. This prelude featured in his first book of pieces, The Well-Tempered Clavier, back in 1722, so almost 300 years ago now. Since then, this piece is featured in many films and television programmes and adverts, so you've probably heard it somewhere before. It is Bach's Prelude in C Major. J.S. Bach's Prelude in C Major. I'm now going to play another one that is very well known. I play this very regularly at weddings as it is one of the most romantic pieces I know. It is by Elvis Presley and it is Can't Help Falling in Love. Thank you. 
do hope that some of you were singing along at home because if it wasn't for the harp playing, I would definitely be singing along too. This next piece is one that's written by the French composer Claude Debussy. This is one of many pieces by him that was originally written for the piano, but harpists have decided to adopt because they just translate so well over onto the instrument. This was a prelude he wrote in 1910, and it is called La Fille au Chauveau de Lune, which translates to The Girl with the Flaxen Hair. Another favourite of mine coming up next, which is a very well known song and one that I love to sing along to all the time. Um, it features on the famous 1969 album Abbey Road is Here Comes the Sun.
That one always makes me smile, even if in Scotland the title is just a little bit of wishful thinking, but, you know, we try our best, I suppose. So following on from that is one that is a little bit different in our programme. It is the only piece that was originally written for harp today, and it was written in 1996 by the Welsh composer Dalwyn Henshaw. There was a harpist called Eleanor Bennett, who decided in the 90s to commission a number of different composers to write pieces for the harp and named the folio Living Harp. And Dalwyn Henshaw was one of these composers. It was to promote the idea of there being more original harp music written by Welsh composers for the instrument as the harp is the national instrument of Wales. So this piece was originally, it's called Three Welsh Dances and each dance has a slightly different character to it. So today I'm going to play the second and third of those Welsh dances. The second dance is very relaxing. To me, it feels very much like a lullaby and it goes straight into the third dance, which is just a, a whirlwind of energy. I really love to play this one. So I hope you enjoy it. Here are Darwin Henshaw's second and third Welsh dance.
playing those pieces, but I feel like I need to uh, catch my breath after that third dance. It's quite a workout for the fingers being so energetic as well. Uh, so the next piece that follows that is always one that's quite relaxed and the same is true for today. It is another one that you may well know. It is from the famous opera composer Puccini and features in one of his operas that I can't quite pronounce, but it is Gianni Shucci, Shucci. Um, and it features when Loretta, who is the daughter, is pleading with her father and it's called Oh My Dear Papa. piece in our program today and when it gets to that point I always like to finish with a piece that is either from where I'm from or about where I'm from it is the Shetland Islands that I, I grew up in and so the piece that I'm going to play is written by the Clarsach player Katrina Mackay. She wrote this back in 1999 when she was taking part in the Tall Ships races which is a race that goes around a number of islands in Europe and she was taking part in sailing on the boat, the Swan LK243. Whenever I play this piece, I, I absolutely love it because I can really feel the movement of the waves and the idea of being on this exciting journey as well. So I really love playing this piece. And um, before I go, I would just love to say thank you so much to all of you for tuning in today. Um, or whenever you're tuning in, I know this concert is on YouTube for a while. And a huge thank you to Live Music Now Scotland and their funders for asking me to do this concert. Um, it really is such a joy to still have the opportunity to play my instrument to people, even if it's not quite in the way 
but I'm used to it. It's still brilliant to get the chance to do that. So thank you very much. Now I will leave you with the Swan LK243 written by Katrina Mackay. <laughs>